Right, so you can either, you got options. So you okay, can, what options you, are there? Go ahead, let's, let's start can, there. Uh, you, you, can, you can listen to, you can check books, you know, that speak Chinese, translations, right, audios. Uh, let, you know clarify what you mean. So, 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 you, so let me, let me, so, let me okay, simplify it first. Let me like, simplify it. Let, let, hold on, hold on. So, there's options, many options. Wh which are? So, you can go online. Nowadays, with information age. Yeah, information age. Any information you can get online. Online where? Let me say you can go online. No, on. Or you, so we have a Chinese text. No, 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 Let's no, take it slowly. Look, look, look. Oh, so got, I'm trying to have a conversation you, with you. you I'm got, trying to learn you from you. YouTube. You got YouTube. Slow you down. Got, Slow down. I'm trying to learn from you. Okay? Yeah. We can learn from each other. Do you agree? Sure. Good. So we have, before I answer this question about the Arabic text of the Quran, I'm bringing in another text so that we understand our principle. So we have a Chinese text and you probably have heard this text and a meaning of it. But I'm disputing and both of us don't know Chinese. So we have possible ways to resolve the dispute by, you said going to, number one you said people who speak Chinese, good. Number two go to online and you said YouTube for example, okay. now. When it comes to going to people, which people? So there are people who speak Chinese. Do I go to any person who speaks Chinese to get the meaning? Because is it possible one Chinese person can give me one meaning, another Chinese person who speaks Chinese, rather, a person who speaks Chinese, gives another meaning? Is it possible? Sure. Good. So we have a problem here in the very first possibility of how we resolve the dispute. People who speak Chinese, they can give different meanings. Mm -hmm. So it's not a really robust way of solving our dispute of the meaning of the Chinese text. Let's go online. <coughs> if it's online and YouTube, you said, like my, my son or my daughter can make YouTube videos and say this is what it means. It's not going to be easy to solve the dispute because people can claim what it means to me. So when you go online and when you go YouTube, who should we be going to? Sam Shamun. Sam Shamun. He speaks Chinese? Sam, Sam Shamun. So he speaks Chinese, no, right? He has an Arab. Stop, or, stop, stop, stop. Or Christian. Oh, stop. Or, or, or. Relax, relax, relax. Does Christian he speak Chinese? Christian prince, he speaks Arab. Does he speak Chinese? He speaks Arab. Do they Arab. speak Chinese? But I speak Arab. We are disputing the text of a Chinese text. A no, book in Chinese? No, we're speaking about our... No, no. We're talking about... In my what, example... Why, why, why does... What, as I say, why does... In Surah 33, 56, Allah and his message and his angel pray... Isn't that what we're trying to answer? Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So, so that's Arabic, yeah? Arabic. So, those okay. who don't... I don't speak Ar Arabic, so... But I know How do online, we? I, I know do online people speak with Christian Prince. Speak slow down, slow down, Arabic. slow Christian down, Prince. slow down. He speaks Arabic. So let's understand your principle of how you resolve the dispute. So you have these two individuals that you mentioned. Christian Prince, Sam come on, Shemun. come on. Two individuals you mentioned who speaks Arabic, right? Good. And we have many individuals, even in this park, who speaks Arabic. Okay. So why is the individuals here who speaks Arabic? their meaning is not acceptable to you and the meaning is acceptable from those two individuals what is special about those individuals that someone here uh, Siraj someone yes. do you speak Arabic a little bit yes good so for example why is the meaning of the Arabic text in this chapter not acceptable to you from brother Siraj but acceptable from those two other individuals when all three of them speak Arabic. There's some problem here, isn't it? So how do you resolve this problem? So these two are the same and check the, check the fact. It's okay, brother. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You've done your job, mashallah, alhamdulillah. You know, the point is made. You speak Arabic too. Okay, that's what, don't worry about it. I am here. So now, let me, let me give you... So I, I hear what she, I hear what he say. What he say, and, what and whoever say, and then check the facts. You know, if you match, you match okay. What they say. So let me let me understand now your principle again. So now you have several Arabic-speaking people, 
and they give you conflicting meanings. Conflicting meanings. You yourself don't speak Arabic. So how are you going to know where lies the facts? Yeah, so I, I, unless it were everyone's, what they say, then I make up my own mind. Now how would you make up the mind? No, because no, you don't know Arabic. Because I got, I got to listen to what he says. What he says. Yeah, what good. He says. And how then, do you know who's speaking the facts? No, see, then you, 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 as I say, you check it out. Listen, listen to audio, so you listen to... You, you check it out. You, make no, you don't know Arabic language, you know so how say, do you check? You know what I'm saying? Find that those who are genuine, those who are genuine. Hang on, hang on. When you say genuine, so you have about two billion Muslims? They don't accept what your two individuals say. Right. So you're saying those two billion Muslims are not genuine, but two, only two human beings are genuine. No. Does that make sense to yes. you? I didn't say only two. Okay. The two individuals that you brought forward, they have a meaning to this text and two billion Muslims have a different meaning to this text. You as an individual who have a brain, tell me which meanings are you going to take from? The two billion agree on something or two people? What is your criteria on accepting? Which one and why? Repeat the question. Okay, I'll repeat it. To understand the meaning of the text, what exactly it says, two billion people, they say this is what it means, they agree on it. And only two people that you brought, they say no, it means this instead. Actually, so, there's more people. You brought two people, let's stick to the two people. So why are we going to, why are you going to accept the meaning of the text from two people instead of two billion people when they agree on that. Who are, who are the two billion, billion people? Who are the two billion? Muslims. Two billion Muslims. There, there's more, there's more, there's more, more people that agree with that meaning. Do you think the meaning of the tax is agreed by more than two billion people on this, what it means? Because prayer, salat, you know, when, when Muhammad said... No, 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 you're, 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 you're now, you're now we're telling me what it means. We are saying... Because stop, I, stop, because stop, stop. I, I, no, no. Check it out. No, because wait, wait, wait. They, what they say, okay. run with it. Okay. Just because they're two billions. Okay. Well, listen, there's a way that's in Can I? But ends in destruction. Just because a lot of people are following it. Okay. I'm not going to follow them. Okay, you know what? <laughs> okay, maybe, you know what? Okay, let's, let's give you some credit there. Maybe two billion people are wrong in understanding what it means. And two persons knows. Fine. Can I suggest an alternative? That when we want to resolve a dispute when it comes to language, we go to authorities of the language. It could be someone who is a lexicographer, someone who is a linguist of the language, or we go to the lexicons, dictionaries of that language, authoritative dictionaries. Is that a better way? Very good. We agree. I agree with you. So when it comes to linguistic disputes, we need to go to the authoritative dictionaries of that language. So when it comes to dispute about Arabic texts of the Quran, what it means, we need to go to the authoritative dictionaries of Arabic language. Do you agree? Good. So name me three authoritative dictionaries of the Arabic language that we should go to and you have consulted already. You tell me because you speak Arabic. I didn't have a problem with this. You disputed it and you said it didn't mean that. So, name me one. I haven't got that way with it right now. Do you know a name of an Arabic authoritative dictionary? No, I don't. Hmm? No, I don't. You don't? Right. So, from the start, from the get go, there's a problem in your research. In your, when you said I looked into it, there's a problem there which is. When you have a dispute of a text, what it means, instead of going to the right source, you went to the wrong source. The wrong source will always mislead you, okay? Because they're not authoritative. If there were someone who knows the Arabic language like a dictionary, an authoritative person, I would say, yep, we can take what they say at least 
But but as you know, I know these two individuals. They are not authorities. I know. He speaks Arabic. So does he. So does this brother. So so it's not about someone speaking the language. We 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 went. I need us break it down. No 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 no. What we have done here is this. Instead of taking the people who speak the language, we've gone to the authorities of that language and authorities of the language. They are referring to the standard authoritative dictionaries, okay, have lexicons. You, have you got the dictionary? You and I do, in fact, Show me. I went. Show me no, 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 listen. I'm not going to spoon feed you when you have inadequate, insufficient, unacceptable research. Your research needs to be modified by going back to those dictionaries and see what the dictionary says. I myself actually have done that and I have made a video already and it's online and you missed it. It's actually called on this very, does Allah pray? And you missed it. You could have just simply typed in on, on, on Google or on YouTube. Let's do that. Okay. I'll show you something. Look, okay. Um, you think I'm just making this up maybe? Okay. So let's go to YouTube here. Let's go to search. And does Allah pray? Oh, look at that. First page. Look. Can you see that picture? Does it look like me? It looks like your brother. Looks like my brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's got my name on it as well, Simon Sur. And it's on my channel called Dawawise. Oh, you're not twins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, it's on my channel as well. Okay, that's one. I'll show you another one on the same video. This, um, in fact, once you know my name, does Allah pray and put then Mansur on it? Yeah? Since now you've known my name. And guess what? What it brings. Oh, look. Claim of Allah praying, Brother Mansur, four years ago. Okay. So when you. I could, I could show wait, you. Wait, no, no, no. I could show you different. Stop, stop, well. stop, stop. As you go online. No, no, stop. I could stop. Show you. There's a lot of video. No, I have a point. Allah, no. Allah prays. You know, what did he pray to? I am making the point. You did research by going online and you missed the vital research by my humble self. I'm sure you could do it. You could do it. You could have done it. Okay? They didn't have time to do it. I took some time to do it. That's the difference. In this, what did I do? I went through the classical dictionaries. Most of them, if not all of them, that is something sufficient for this. And I went through and I explained, and I answered that question already. So your research from the get-go wasn't a research. It was really a very bad attempt in exploring and learning someone else's faith, which is really not something that we should do in this day of age. If I want to learn about your faith, I'm not going to go to someone who doesn't have a clue about your faith. I should go to your scholars, your scripture, your commentaries. Do you agree to learn about your faith? We expect the same from you, that if you want to have some understanding of our faith, go to our authoritative sources. So I explain there from authoritative dictionaries that the word Salat, okay, Salat as you're saying, has several meanings. One of the meaning, as everyone understands, including yourself, is about worshipping or praying. But it has also other meanings, which is about magnification of praise, mercy, glorification, blessings. It means all of that from the Arabic language itself. So we cannot go and say, oh, where, who does Allah pray? Because it becomes a laughable. Because in context, Arabic language demonstrates to you that this meaning cannot be applied. Which meaning applied? As it fits in the Arabic language in context. Because for example, the tree has a bark and a dog barks too. But you can't say this bark, I mean, does this tree have a bark? Means he's actually barking? We have to contextualize the words and meanings within the framework of a context. So that's exactly, my friend, we, what we expect you as a critic of Islam, as a non-believer in Islam, to do. So yes, once, so when we, I, 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 I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to summarize. I'll let you speak. I want to summarize. So I would, I would, I want to summarize. I'll let you speak. Thirty seconds. So I want to say, stop going further on this topic. Go home or take a break over there 
it's only a small video, listen to it, and then formulate your research question again. Yeah, just, Does that sound sensible? Just like you, just when I speak to the guy, and he called you, mm -hmm. yeah? So, there's, there's, I go to people who are more knowledgeable. Than, right. my, than by the yeah, dictionaries? So, like, like the guy was speaking to No, no. The guy was are you guys speaking. more knowledgeable than the authority of the dictionaries? I, 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 I apologize. I, was, I, was, I, was gonna, I, I apologize. Do you accept? As the guy was speaking to, he called you, right? Mm -hmm. Which are not, not knowledgeable, right? So the people are going to, they're more knowledgeable and, and know they they know their stuff. You know what I'm saying? They know their stuff. So that's why I, I go to them. You know what I'm saying? I, I measure the name Christian Prince. Is he knowledgeable? Very okay. Much. Does he lie? Yeah. No. Okay, one second. Yeah. One second. Stop Christian it. Prince. Wait, 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 one you know second. Now, go to YouTube again. Look, look. You know what I'm saying? Look. So, so no, 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 one second, one second. You say he doesn't lie. What if we show you more than 100 videos done exposing his lies? Not one, not two, not five, not ten, not fifty, more than 100 lies. No, now we're, we're going to another topic. No, we're not. Because you are going to a person who is a liar. Why would you go to a liar? Sam Shamoon. Sam Shamoon. You know what I'm saying? These people know. Why did you study Arabic? This, this, okay, this, this individual you mentioned, wait one second, this individual that you mentioned, where did he study Arabic? I can tell you why I studied Arabic. I studied Arabic in the University of Damascus. Where did he study Arabic? You are going to ask him? You are bringing him as an authority. So you should have some knowledge already. Otherwise, you're going by what? Blind he, he, assumptions. He speaks Arabic. He speaks, I know he speaks. Where did he study Arabic? Look at the quality of your research. Well, the difference Christian between... Prince. Christian Prince. No, I'm talking... Look, Christian Prince, as you said, this individual, I don't know why you call him a prince. Because that's the name. The princess. Because that's the name. Oh, his name is Christian as well. Okay, let's call him Christian. The Christian, Christian, does he lie? And you said no. And I said, what if I were to every, give you... Every man, every, in the YouTube, every, more than 100 every, videos every about you. Every, uh, all, we all no, no, lie. No, 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 documented lies bro we all of us have lied documented lies all of us have lied if i lie about something and you can see that is a lie you would say this guy is a liar if you see this christian he lies on one two three one hundred issues you would say this guy is a pathological liar you would not with all your integrity, take his words when he's a liar, would you? Would you take a liar's word and say, ah, oh, he's going to give me support and salvation? You'll be someone who call like, like you, you know, even be childish. That's insane to the least. So I am saying the meaning of the text when does Allah pray? There's already a video by my humble self and various others. Go and check it out. And then take this video to your two individuals and say, how do we respond to that? Because if I've given Arabic authoritative dictionaries from Muslims and from Christians, do you know Christians have their Arabic dictionaries? Did you know the Christians also they have their Arabic dictionaries? Did you know? You didn't know. But I even consulted that and showed you from there, from Arabic. I mean, you can just watch this 20 minute video or whatever yourself now and get an education. For example, it's very easy, it's free. But what I'm saying, you are a young person. You are the future. Young people are the future leaders. And we want you to be critical minded, critical thinking, sincere, have the passion for the truth. When you want to establish truth, you have to have the right approach to establish the truth. If you have a methodology which is faulty, you're gonna have a result which is faulty. Ask anyone, they'll tell you. So if you are doing some research, which doesn't have the robustness of a research. It's faulty to begin with. Then you need to ask yourself, why am I doing, do you study? Do you go to college, do you need university? They will tell you, that's not the way to approach. The way to understand the falsity and truthfulness of something is really to critically analyze it with the right means and methods. That's the only way we can arrive at the truth. Otherwise, you will be called a blind, not yourself, anyone who does that, a blind bigot. He is having some kind of biases and based on that, 
they have made up their mind without accepting critically analyzed information and then disregard it just because they don't like it because it goes against their belief their ideology their culture their paradigm whatever it might be so you as a young person look you are intelligent no no there's no doubt about it young minds are fresh it's not polluted it's not being brainwashed by lots of things use the god-given faculty of intellect of course it's not mine and, and what what brought me to christ mm. is not what someone told me mm. it's an experience can people's experience differ and through their experience they worship a tree you know what i'm saying I, do you I, agree I, I, do you agree some people can led themselves with experience to worship a rat or a tree <laughs> no, would it, that it, be true I, I i came for experience i should have been locked up korea washed up before the for jesus christ okay i would have been locked up i understand your you experience is valuable so, so no one so, look so no one can take your experience it's can you take his experience, experience away? You can't. Christ. No, no, look, look, look. I'm, agree, I'm agreeing with Not you. I'm agreeing with you. This gentleman, this gentleman, this gentleman cannot take your experience away from you. It's valuable to you. But I am saying there are people with their experience that have come to accept a God which is a rat. Which is a rat. You know what a rat is? A mouse and a rat? And they say this is God. Some people say this tree through their experience and they worship a tree. From this, you as a young person, you will say, something's not right with this approach of taking experience. Because I came to Christ with my experience, but people through their experience, they came to a tree as their God, a rat as their God. Then experience cannot be the arbiter or the arbitrator. Something doesn't sound right here. It cannot be the, the one that deciphers what is right, what is wrong, what is truth, what is falsehood. Because if it was the case, everyone's experience should have brought them to Christ but it brings them to a monkey God a rat God a tree God or no God yeah so do you agree an intelligent person like yourself need to think outside experience and say maybe I need to ask about other approaches in which I can really critically analyze what is right and what is wrong what is truth and what is false for example does the Bible tell you that this tripod is God or not I have not read it in the Bible I, I don't need the Bible tell me that it's common sense oh common good good well <laughs> done you, you see I, I told you I told you he's you intelligent you gotta, you gotta look, look, I, look brothers <laughs> I I that, told you gave he's brain. intelligent so you gotta use common your brain. sense you right use your brain so you gotta you gotta make up a choice right so read the Quran read the Bible okay. common make sense up your mind. no yeah. common sense okay. that's no no look I agree with you that, look I agree with him that, look, look, I agree. Uh, I, which I'm saying. Common sense. Uh, that's let's, what I'm saying. Let's talk that's about common sense. sense. So, mm. we'll talk so, about common sense. Yeah, sure. You gotta make up. God gave us a brain. Mm. So, you better make up your own choice. Yep. If you wanna follow Allah, follow Allah. If you wanna follow Jesus Christ, follow Jesus Christ. Listen, it's simply a choice. You gotta. Agree. And you, you gotta. We don't disagree. We agree a lot. And, and the result, you have to deal with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. I agree with you. My, my Everything faith, that you just said, I agree. My faith is in your own choice. Jesus Christ. Believe, Consequence is yours too. I believe he died, resurrected. Mm. And that's the difference between the Quran and the Bible. Okay. He said the Quran never died. According to the Quran, Surah 4, 157, he said never down the cross, only appears. Yeah, the Jesus of the Bible. Does the Kadianis know that? They should learn from him. So that's the big difference between the east of the east of the Quran and the east of the Bible, mm. because the Bible said, "Without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin." So blood is in Jesus Christ shed his blood. The east of the Quran never died, so he cannot help me. He cannot help no one. There's no salvation. So a dead God can help you. You know what I'm saying? Jesus died, resurrected. So God that dies and resurrects helps you. Okay, fine. Remember what we talked about? Okay, no, okay. Let's, no, let me try to understand this. No, I, no, I understand you. No, I understand your point. There's a difference between when the Quran presents about Christ and so on. But you said something beautiful earlier on. And I told all the others, he is intelligent. You said common sense, right. Does common sense tell us God who is all knowledgeable? You know what it means for all knowledgeable? Knows the past? 
The present? We need it. Wait, wait. Knows the past, the present, and the future. That's what all knowledge means. So when God is all knowledgeable, meaning he knows the past, present, the future, okay? He knows it all, right? Already. Does common sense tell you this God who knows everything already can then become ignorant? What does common sense tell you? What does common sense tell you? The, that's my point. When you have a God who is all knowledgeable of the past, present and future, can this all knowledgeable God ever be spoken about that he can become ignorant of the future when he's already aware of the future? Common sense, I'll tell you now, common sense tells us it makes no sense to say that he can be ignorant of the future because he knows the future already. So any belief which holds primarily, firstly, that God is unknowledgeable, do you hold that? Good. So any belief which holds God is unknowledgeable, at the same time cannot say, and it does not make sense if it said that, that God then becomes ignorant. Because ignorance of something is not possible for God, because he is unknowledgeable. But in the Christian theology that people have told you to accept, they tell you that God took on a human form and he became ignorant. Philippians 2, being in the very nature like God, he did not consider himself equal to God, but he made himself nothing and he humbled himself. Philippians 2, you've read? Mm -hmm. Well, I have, and you too. So it tells you there that the, the all knowledgeable, all divine God, he limited himself and made himself nothing. And when it comes to knowledge of that day and of that hour, no one knows. Not even the angels in heaven, not even the Son, who is who? The Christ, but only the Father. So here in Mark 13, 32 and various other references, you have someone who's supposed to be God, all knowledgeable, doesn't know the hour and says, someone else knows, and that's the Father. Well, then he is eligible to be God because he knows the hour. He knows everything. So you have a concept of God which goes against common sense, which you adore and I adore. I accept and you accept. So we have now a problem, a belief which tells us to go against our common sense, to believe God while he's unknowledgeable, he becomes ignorant and not unknowledgeable. Common sense tells us to reject that concept. Common sense tells us to reject this tripod is not God. Like I started questioning. It doesn't have to say in the Bible or in the Quran that this is God or not. Our common sense will reject that tripod or even that one, which is nicer. I'm not discriminating. Or even that one as God. Because none of these have the qualities of being God. Okay? So God is a perfect being. None of these things are perfect. God is self-sufficient. None of these are self-sufficient. They were made. They were dependent. These are finite. God is none of that. So, common sense tells us there's a problem with the Christian belief about the incarnation. God coming down in the form of something like a human being, limiting himself, his knowledge, and various other things. So, how do you resolve this problem? Because the common sense that God has endowed you with rejects this. See, that's, that's the difference between Islam and Benin. Christianity. Mm -hmm. You see, salvation is found in none other. Salvation. That's why back in, back in the old days, they used to offer lambs once a year. They used to offer lambs for their sins once a year. The Bible said Jesus is the perfect lamb of God. He was slain before the foundation of the world. You know what I'm saying? So this this is the gospel. Our good deeds cannot save us because none of us are good. If you break the law, stand before a judge and say, Oh judge, look at my good deeds, Alhamdulillah. The judge will say, I shall lie, you're going to jail. Because you commit a crime, your your good deeds are going to do with your crime. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we, we in trouble in Judgment Day because our good deeds cannot help us. We're all sin. We're broke. Sin came from Adam. 
when Adam transgressed the law, how come is is as his offspring? We are we, to, to, to the day to day. We are dealing with the consequence of sin. Adam sin and go cast the ground. That's what work is hard. <laughs> so you have to sweat to eat to earn. You're gonna sweat. Why women have pain when they're baby? This comes from the curse of sin, and that's the problem we're dealing with. And only the Bible has a solution of sin, which is Jesus Christ. So I'm still having a problem understanding when common sense rejects God or knowledge will becomes ignorant. Even if it's said in the Bible, I will still have the problem. Because I cannot accept, you cannot accept, because you said common sense is a good tool to use. You and I cannot accept when the Bible says the all knowledgeable God becomes ignorant. So does that mean we reject the Bible? That's what you are saying. We reject the Bible. No, if you, that, if you, if you, if you reject the Bible, which means believe I be fully off, you're in trouble when you die. No, no. If, you, no, no. if there is a belief which goes against your common sense, that God or knowledgeable becomes ignorant, your heart and your mind, I can actually see through it because it's common sense, rejects this idea that God or knowledgeable becomes ignorant. Do you agree? The only, okay, let me let me let me clarify one thing. Let me no no one just one question, my friend. Do you accept the everlasting God will always be living and will never cease to exist? Okay. If somebody says the everlasting God which who will always live actually will cease to exist tomorrow, would you ever accept that? I'm gonna ask you a question, yeah. Mm. Are you gonna answer this first? I'm, 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 I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm asking a question. So, but you gonna answer I'm, it? I'm, 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 asking, I'm asking a question. So, so you see, you know, because your understanding of Jesus, yeah, because you know, we believe God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. How many gods are there? One. One. How many fingers did you count? <laughs> Okay. You, you, you counted how many fingers? Okay. Can you show that again? How, how one, one more. How one many, more. How many of you, as a human being, you have a mind, a soul, and a spirit? Okay, can I explain? How many, how many of you? I'll one? tell you. You're one, right? I'll, I'll tell you. You're one? Uh, or are you free? I'm, I'm, I'm explaining. My mind is part of me. My body is part of me. My soul is part of me. The body is not the whole of me. The mind is not whole of me. My soul is not whole of me. So it's a part. Are you suggesting there is one God with three parts? Is that what you're doing? We have one God. Yeah, in your belief, manifestation. In, in, no, in your, no, my body is not manifestation of my soul. The analogy that you brought needs to be consistently clear. The analogy that brought my body, my soul, my mind. Now, my body is not a manifestation of my soul. My soul is not a manifestation of my body. Okay? They are part of who I, I am. Okay? If God is the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, how many fingers did you show me? One finger? Three fingers. Three. Okay, let's make it simple uh, so that I can understand from you better today. Is the Father, in your understanding of God, fully divine? Okay. 100% God? Okay. He's fully divine. He's 100% God. Anyone who's fully divine, 100% God, is he a half or a third or a quarter or is he one complete God? He's one complete God. One complete God? No, say it. Is he one complete God? Yeah. Wait, 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 I'm not finished yet. Wait, 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 I've not done the other two yet. Order, order, let, mm. let, let, let me you see. But I've not finished yet. Order, order, order. order. I will hold. Listen. Can I Listen. finish with the other three? Wait, wait, wait. Because you just cut me up when I was speaking, you just... But it's important you know, to understand no, your concept saying, of God. Well, you see, the Father you is be, one complete be, God. You know, as a believer, will God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. So how many gods did you mention here? It's one. No, the one. how many gods did you mention here now? The, the one. No, the no, one. how God many gods Father. did you mention? God the Father. Wait, wait, wait. You know what I'm God the Son. You know what I'm saying the one. You know what I'm saying? That's what 
the Bible says God is the spirit. God, if you got a space right now, yeah, you need a suit. You need a space suit. Okay. Or you're gonna die. You can't you can't end the space suit. I agree space with you there. That's why. Intelligent. So, so so when God when God came on earth, he needed he needed a Christ suit. Good. So when God came on earth, was he there anyone up there? Suit. Was he anyone up there? Saying, God is a spirit. God look, God look. is your present. Look. You as you as you say, God is on. I understand what you're saying. So he's a present. Good. He's not like you and me. He can be here, can be India, can be Pakistan, at the Boy. same time America. Look. At the same time, he's all. Can present. I make a clarification? Please to go to Pakistan. Is God the God, Father? Is, the father. is God the Father? God the Son, or are there a distinction between them? Say it again. Is the is God the Father, God the Son Himself? Are they the same? Or are they different and distinction between them? So you are they the same? You say so you have God, God, God the Father, obviously the Spirit. Is God the Father, God the Son Himself? Sorry, sorry. Three distinct. So they're distinct. So God the Father is not the Son. The Son is not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not the Father. They're, they're one. Wait, wait. Let's they're understand something. Before you say one, let's understand something. They're one. No, wait, wait. Before you say. Is that for you to complain? No, I'm saying is that for him to complain? If I said, if I said there, if I said because. A lot of people, you know what I'm saying, when I use their... My friend, their they're zero. Human, human brain. Okay, if I, this. if I said, if I said, if I said they're zero, God the Father, God the Son, and the God the Holy Spirit, they're zero. They're what would you understand by that? Free, free. Okay. No, they're zero, they're okay. zero. Or, because they say, some people say, one plus one, one plus one plus one, that's three, right? What about one times one times one? Oh, very good question. Let, let's see if you can understand, help me that. Please help me out. If you have one fruit banana, another fruit apple, and another fruit orange, how many fruits are there? Banana, apple, and orange. How many fruits? One times one times one. How many fruits? One. One fruit, yeah? One times one. If you times it, one times one. No, no, how many fruits are there? There's banana, apple, and orange. So how many fruits? One times one times one. How many fruits are there? One. If it's times, is one. No, no. Is Whatever it, you call it, you times have, division. If you're, if you're times. I have in front of me. Look, one. I have. Wait, wait, one point. You did say we were going to use common sense. Remember, we were going to use common sense. What's rational? So yeah. Let's go back to that. The yeah. So if if I have a basket, if I have a basket, in this basket I give you one banana, one apple, and one orange. How many fruits are in the basket? It's free. Why do you say three and not one? Because they're different fruits. They are different fruits. But so about one, now, one God. Wait, wait, wait. Now let's understand your 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 you, you concept. Cannot, you cannot, you turn up. Ah, uh, uh, God to fruit. God is not fruit. Look, I, I gave you fruits for you to understand better. So you have, so you have, you have the Father, who is not the Son. So they are different. So you have within the Godhead the Father, who is not the Son and the Son, who is not the Holy Spirit. So you have one, they're, they're, and they're, one, they're and one. one, and they are not they're the one. same, they're and they are distinct. They're, they are not one manifestation, they are distinct. They are distinct. The Son speaks to Himself, or speaks to the Father? Common sense. The Son speaks to the Father. So they are not the same manifestation, they are distinct from each other. So there are three, what, entities. Not one entity, the three entities. If each entity, like the Father, is one fully complete God, mm -hmm. the Son is one fully complete God, the Holy Spirit is one fully complete God, I let you answer that question. How many complete gods are there? Common sense. What happened to your common sense? One. Where did you leave your common sense? <laughs> common sense tells you that that's not five gods. It's not 20, I agree. But it's three. The Christianity, the theology, my friend, which they didn't tell you, I know they have told you a lot of things. They believe in the unity of three gods. That is called. Let me explain to you. Let me explain. Let me ex let me explain. Believe. 
Let me explain. Said there's one God. Why don't you let me explain? Trinity, the word Trinity means what? Try. In the word Trinity. What does it mean? Trinity. The word Trinity comes from what? Try unity. Do you understand? No. Yeah. Try unity. Unity of three. Three things united as one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen in unity. Seventeen in one. Not one human, seventeen humans. Not one god, three gods. But one government, one group, one family, one godhead. That's what they mean. They mean three gods are working together collectively in unity. So it's called triunitheism. Not tritheism, triunitheism. But because they didn't want to label themselves as polytheistic, they say, no, 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 don't call us triunitheist, call us Trinitarian. Jesus Christ can help you here. In the New Testament, this is going to be our last point of discussion. In the New Testament, John 17, 3, in which Jesus Christ identified who the only true God is. If I were to ask you, an intelligent young Christian, who is God according to you? You'd say, God is the, the only true God is go on tell me who is the only true God according to you he's not Allah no who is he then you know what I'm saying according to you don't tell me who he's not tell me who he is you know what I'm saying so the true God is is no Allah the true God is Jesus Christ okay so according to you the only true God is Jesus Christ and according to Jesus Christ, the only true God is who? Okay, so you disagree with Jesus Christ. I have to leave it there. Yes. Him say. Okay, I, okay, you don't want to shake hands, no problem. Jesus, may, may, may God said, give you said, more me, applicability father, of common sense. Jesus said, me and, and my father are one. One what? Me and my father are one. One what? Okay, we are all one. One what? Ask. Okay, you know what? The 17 of us, we are all one. You are for the one. Wait. The 17, the 18 now, the brothers come, and 19. The 9, 20. The 20 of us are all... 23. 23. Okay, let's leave it there. 23. Good number. 23 of us are all one. What do you understand by that? One human? Come on. God is the spirit. God is the spirit. The 23 of us, when I say we are all one, you would not say it means one human. So if you have 23 gods and we say they're all one, you would know it means 23 gods are united together. If, you have, if, you, if there are three of them united, that will be three gods. So John 17, 3 says, this is eternal life, that they may know that you, referring to the Father, you are the only true God. And, 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 and Father, Allah is no Father to know. I haven't been speaking so, about Allah. You know I have been talking so, about so, your concept of God. You know I'm saying the God, the God of the Bible is not the God of the Quran. The God of the Bible the God of the has Quran. really confused no, who real God is. No, I agree, I agree, no, I agree. No, the God of the Allah, Bible Allah needs to be no clarified. Because for you to come to Allah, you gotta go for Muhammad. Okay. You know what What's the name of God according to Christ? For you to come to the Father, you have okay. to, only for Jesus. Jesus the, said, my last question. I'm the way, my last the question. Truth, I'm the life. No man can come to the Father but by me. Jesus said, I'm the door. So simply the ease of the Quran is not the Jesus of the Bible okay. because there are two different Jesus. According and to Jesus, the, the book, what is the name of God? The book of the book of Matthew 24, verse 24. Jesus told us the first Christ, first Messiah who come into the world. If it's possible, they will deceive the very elect. And guess wow, what? very elect will deceive. I, 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 guess what? We got, Are you one of them? We got the, deceived? We got the moments. The same. And the Trinitarians? We got the yep. moment they say. The Mormons and the Trinitarians, yeah. The, the, the Trinitarians, yeah. Jesus' brother. <laughs> the Trinitarians are deceived too, yeah. We go Jehovah Witness. They say Jesus 
is an archangel, Michael, mm. because the Muslim say Jesus is only a messenger, only a prophet. Yeah. This is the different Jesus. This is Jesus. He's more than a prophet. Jesus never sinned. He forgave sin. So he's more than a prophet. He forgave sin. That's what the Jews came in the book of Mark 2.9. That's what the Jews. It's quite interesting what, what he said. That's what the I, Jews. I told you this man, Jesus. he knows his stuff. So, right? The, the Jesus forgave. Because Jesus, Jesus forgave, forgave saints. Sin. Jesus forgave sin. And they said, who but God can forgive sin? Mm. They said, this man you know, thing. You're making, so Jesus you're making some good points. Jesus Do you know sin. the Lord's Prayer? Our Father, who in heaven, I love be your name. Continue. Let your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And then? To die is the kingdom, the power of the Lord forever. Continue. Amen. No, you missed something. You missed about the forgiveness part. For, forgive our sins as we forgive others. Forgive? G G wait, wait, wait. Don't jump. Forgive our sins as we forgive as others. As we who? As we what? As we forgive. So Jesus will teach you how to pray. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. As Jesus we... <laughs> slow down. As we forgive others. So you can forgive too. Can you forgive? That's what the Lord's Prayer says. Yeah, yeah, you can course, forgive. Of course. If Does I that make you God? If I wrong you, I Does forgive. that make you God when you forgive? No, of course I'm not. Thank God. you very much. Even if Jesus forgives, likewise, it shouldn't make him God according to your same logic. Now I want to return back to one important thing. No. If I give you an option, no, when, 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 the the blind. He woke if I, I want to do wine. look, <laughs> if somebody turns water into wine, I would say, hmm, that's a bad thing. Wine convolates, confuses your mind. It's a bad thing to do. Is it, is it a bad thing? How come when you go to Jenna, you're going to have wine? Good question. I <laughs> told you this man, he is clever. Yeah, you can have wine. You have clever. Clever. I come. Wine is evil on earth. Yeah. When you go to Jenna, you have wine. Good, good. So, good question. How so, come you're having, yeah. you know, something evil in Jenna? He's thinking, he's thinking. Bro. He's sharp and he's thinking. In, in the wine in Jenna, is the wine in Jenna going to convolute our mind and confuse our mind? What? No. What? Wait, 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 listen, 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 <laughs> listen, so now since you've brought it up, it's worth knowing it a little bit more what the Quran says about the wine in paradise and wine in Jannah. This wine in paradise, ten, ten virgin as well. please, please, this wine in paradise, it's unlike the wine in this world, in this world the wine is bad. In the Jannah, in paradise, the wine is not going to intoxicate you. It's not going to confuse you. It's not going to convolute your mind. So what this is, the wine is purified. It's only by name. Yeah, it will give you pleasure, but without any intoxication. So now you realize Islamic paradise, when it gives you wine, it makes sense. It's not the wine that we see here. So let me come back again. Virgin. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, look, look. When we talk about pleasure in paradise, what is paradise? Paradise is a place God created for us so that we are rewarded. Reward, right? Now, when you are rewarded in your Christian belief, you follow your Christian belief system and you expect a reward. What is the reward awaiting for you in paradise? Then I will compare ours and see which one you really desire. Do you desire the Islamic paradise in which there is pleasure of the heart, pleasure of the mind, pleasure of the body? Or do you deserve the Christian paradise in which? No more pain, no more sorrow. No, I'm talking about pleasure. No, I'm saying. What? Pla okay, no, tell I, me the reward in paradise in your Christian no, belief. No more pain, no, no more pain, no more sorrow. No, I'm saying joy. Okay. No, I'm saying peace. No more joy, did you say? No, no more sorrow. No, that's the negatives, yeah. No more no. sorrow. So give me the oh, positives. No, joy. Okay, that's what I'm saying. So I'm telling you, no, no. Give me no, the positive that's rewards. That's what I'm saying. That okay. No sorrow. That's, that's the joy. negative bits. No, 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 no sorrow. You have no sorrow. No, no. So that no sorrow doesn't mean joy necessarily. No, of course you're going to have joy. Uh, okay. Full of joy. What's, what's the opposite peace. of love? 
Hey. No. Wrong. What's the opposite of black? I don't think black. What? Black. To understand the opposite, you can't say the opposite of love is hate and hate is love. The opposite of love is not love. The opposite of hate is not hate. The opposite of white is not white. It could be green, it could be blue, it could be purple, but it's not black and white, likely it's opposite. Yeah. Wait, wait, let's understand something. So when we talk about sorrow, you cannot automatically assume the opposite of sorrow is joy. Yeah? So I'm asking you, what is the reward, the positive reward, rather than the negative punishment that you're going to avoid? Yes, in Islamic paradise, there will be no hatred, no jealousy, no pain, no suffering. Yeah? Good, good, good. But I want to know, what's the reward awaiting for you? Positive rewards in heaven, in Christianity. As I say, you get joy. What kind of joy? Unspeakable joy. You know no. And how are you going to experience this joy? Bro, bro, I am, uh, I'm, explain. I'm, not, I'm not in heaven yet, so I don't know. Bro. Has God explained? I, I can't explain it. You did it. No, no. Explain I'm, to I'm, me as it says I'm, in the Bible. I'm not, I'm not there yet. You explain to me as it says in the so, Bible. Explain to me as Jesus said it. You know what I'm saying? We're going to avoid hell. No, no. Joy. I, I want to know about gonna, pleasure. Gonna, what kind of pleasure are you going to experience in heaven? Hell. You're going to avoid hell. Excuse me. No. What kind of pleasure are you going to get in heaven? In Christian heaven? What pleasure? Yeah. What kind of pleasure? And what's the mechanism to... to you know what I'm saying? You're going to avoid... Listen. Uh, you know, you're to apply avoid, that bro, level of pleasure on you. Listen, Forget no, avoidance. No, no, what no, are you going to get positively? Positive. Crown. Crown, reward crown, everlasting crown. crown crown so a crown, crown gets in your head you know and you'll feel pleasure crown, you know what I'm saying? wait 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 be, it'll be no more no more pain no no, no that's more sorrow bro. don't give you me the saying? negatives no, that's, that's the negative, negative thing you know so, positive things so what joy, kind of pleasure joy unspeakable joy what kind of joy unspeakable joy what kind of joy uh, unspeakable you can't speak about it unspeakable okay. joy how are you gonna how are you gonna experience that is that is that speaking how are you gonna experience that joy that, i'm telling you what the bible is telling you you'll be your unspeakable joy how are you going to experience this that's what i'm saying it's unspeakable joy so excuse me you can't speak about it it's okay unspeakable okay let me let, let me joy. let me tell you let me tell you let me tell you unspeakable. do you experience pain in this life Absolutely. when you go to the gym right yeah. Yeah, I'm when you eat something nice you experience some pleasure and joy yeah with your body when you don't have a body how do you experience pleasure bodily pleasures i don't know because i will not be here i don't know so in no, paradise would you have a body the answer is yes your speech body right speech body. so okay experience that what can i tell you about i'm not asking you to experience death uh, i'm asking I'm you, to, you you tell me to explain to you so have i experienced uh, uh, paradise you know, you know, but i'm okay. still able to explain to you what joy and pleasure paradise has because this comes from god himself he says so has god told you what pleasure awaits you? So you have a body in paradise and you have, do you have companionship in paradise? Would you have pleasure of companionship? No, no, no. When, when, when you, when Seriously? You, yeah, there's no marriage or even Chitita said, you know, I've realized there's no marriage or given to marriage. If your wife no, makes no, into paradise, no, one second, imagine, one second. Okay. If, no, no, if your no, wife makes into paradise. on this earth, bro. All on this earth. There's no marriage. When you go to paradise and your wife goes there too. There's no marriage. They become since, angel. No, angel. since there's no marriage, mm -hmm. would you have pleasure between yourselves? What sexual pleasure? I didn't say what kind. I said, would you have joy, pleasure between yourself? That's what the Bible says going to be unspeakable yeah. joy, unspeakable joy. Yeah, so tell me, so, when there's no marriage, what is the mechanism of that pleasure? I think about it. When there is no marriage, when there is no union, where what is the mechanism of pleasure Bro, in Christian have paradise? There's some there's some things I can't tell you because I'm, I'm not there yet. Okay, <laughs> let me tell you what Islam says. There will be intimate pleasure in paradise. Okay. Okay. Now, are you feeling jealous already? No. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to go. Wait, to wait, wait. No, I don't no. want to do gender. Wait, wait, wait. We're wait. Ten virgin, one and lemonade. You know, no, no, no. You okay? Let me let me address that. In this life, while you have a wife, you want girlfriends. You want to have sexual intimacy with 
another girl that you see, oh, she is so nice, she's so attractive. And the next girl that you see, oh, look at her. In this life, look at you. You want so many women. And yet, when it's given to you in paradise, you complain. Common sense, man. Common sense. That's a different paradise. Common sense. Bro, Use your common sense. You, know, the, the, you want it in this life, and earth. God gives it to you in paradise, the and you heaven, complain. The heaven of the Muslim is different from the Christian. The heaven of it's Muslim is, the, is that it's what different. you want here in this life, and God provides you in the hereafter. You know what I'm saying? That Isn't it? It's different. You want it here. God says, no, you can have this. No. You can have these women that you want, <laughs> but they will be given to you in paradise as your companions in marriage. In union, yeah. you can have that. There's Look, there's in this world, once again, once again, once again. Jesus said there's no marriage you give it to marriage. I know, that's, that's the problem. That's, that's the problem. That, that's that's the why difference. it's not there's, appealing. There's that's difference. why it's not attractive. That, yeah. In this world... If you're not going to go have 10 virgins... Okay, look, look. Be my, be my, in, this, in this world, yes. you like nice food. You want to go to a restaurant that gives you... Ah, oh, look at the aroma. Look at the presentation. You want this food. When it's presented to you, given to you in paradise as a reward, you complain. And for you, you want it here and you don't get it, but God tells you, I have it there. What you'll be doing is, ah, oh, if I went to Islamic heaven, I would have that. Because I want it now. And God gives you that. And He tells you, the way to get it is to say, there is no God except Allah and Muhammad وسلم, is his messenger. That's what I'm simple, saying. man. That's, that's simple. Use your common that's sense. Different. To get to God, I need Muhammad. <laughs> but to get to Jesus God Jesus Almighty, Jesus we need Jesus, Jesus Christ. Jesus. So what's the difference? <laughs> what's the difference? Big different. You Boy. could not go to God directly. You need Jesus. Listen, I, you, I mean, we can't follow the example of Muhammad in today, day and age. You get, you know I'm saying? You can't follow the example. So, Prophet Muhammad said, for example, I, Help I, I, your neighbor. I, 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 Be kind to your neighbor. Old, Feed old, your neighbor. How old was he? Do you disagree? How old, how old one second, one second. When, one second. When he had Aisha. Okay, two seconds. Now, Six years old. you said you cannot follow. So Prophet Muhammad said. You can't follow the example. Exam now, listen, listen. Get People get arrested. Can you, can you listen? The Prophet Muhammad said, You are not a believer. You are not a believer. You are not a believer if you feed yourself and your neighbor goes hungry and, and starving. You don't even believe. Do you disagree with this teaching? Do you say this is a noble teaching? Or do you say, ah, look at this. I disagree. It's a bad teaching. Or do you say, look at the nobility. Look at the mercy. Look at the appealing message of Prophet Islam. So let's start with this one. So Prophet Muhammad said, we cannot just go on feeding ourselves while our neighbors go starve, starving and die of hunger and starvation, for example. We don't even have belief. Part of our belief is actually look after our neighbor. If we cannot do it ourselves, we will be asking someone else who has the ability to do so. Imagine I am also a Muslim and I have not anything to feed my neighbor with. My next door neighbor who has, will also have the responsibility. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, we have responsibility about 40 or so neighbors to look after. They have a right over us. The Prophet said, removing a thorn that hurts people on the way is like charity, a good deed. Do you disagree or do you agree? That removing a thorn, removing a... What I disagree is, a uh, 54 years old. Oh, I see. Marina so you are disagreeing with, you are disagreeing with, and then that example we can't follow. Okay. In this uh, let 2023. Me, let me understand something. Let me understand something. Let me understand you something. Get for, let me understand something. Let me understand something. You get arrested, man. So you disagree but with? You can't follow the example. Come on. Can you feed your neighbour in 2023? Can you remove a thorn in 2023? Yeah. Using his example. Do you disagree? With, so actually, what you disagree with? is that you disagree with a 90-year-old man having intimate relationship with a 14-year-old. No, you disagree with that, right? Lady. Or do you agree with that? He was, how old is Muhammad? 54. And Aisha, how old? I'm just giving an Six example, listen. Six. Do you agree or disagree? 
a 90 years old man can have intimate relationship with a 14 year old girl or a lady what should i call what's that, what's that, what's the connection joseph and mary that's uh, the connection hey hey they are not the seal of the prophet like do you agree or disagree hey they are, they are not the seal of the prophet do you agree or disagree tell me that's abonimo no. that's we're something talking, we're like talking about the seal of the prophet do you agree or disagree of the prophet man we can't go uh, listen what's up moral the 90 year old excuse me you can, well, hold on, hold on, the 90 year old joseph having relationship with a 14 year old Women, only nine, nine. Brother, 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 don't give him the escape route. That's the problem. So now, the question now is this. Okay, order, 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 order. Do you consider it moral that a 90-year-old man has intimate relationship with a 14-year-old female? Because I don't want to call it lady. Or a girl, I don't know which one you want to apply. Um, you, 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 the choice is yours. A 14 year old female is a girl or a woman? Decide. A 14 year old female, human female, is she a girl or a woman? You choose, you speak. No, I want you to tell me. No, you, you're telling me the example. You just... No, no. You need to tell us. Is a 14 year old Miriam? She could have been even less. She's maximum 14 years old. Is she a woman or a girl? Is it difficult for you to answer? I will tell you the point. First answer. A 14 year old Mary, is she a woman or a girl? What do you think is the question? No. Tell me what you think. I'll tell you. What do you think? We are all listening. Every 23 plus Two other sisters just joined now. What do you think? Twenty-one, five of us want to know. What do you think? I'll tell you what I think. What Go I ahead. think. What I think is a fourteen-year-old girl is what, what a girl think, person what, is. What I think is why would a forty-five years old man marry a sixty-year-old? That was his question. That was his question. That's what do you say about a fourteen-year-old female human? Is she a girl or a woman? The answer is, she's a girl, she's a woman, I don't know, I don't care, maybe, maybe something else. Which one? I've given you so many options. Come on. Any, which one? That one. That one. <laughs> which one was that? <laughs> you tell me. I don't care. You tell me, I don't care. That was I don't care, I think. That's the problem. Young individuals like yourself should care because you are the future leaders of this world. You will be the beacon to transform societies from darknesses into light. You will be the beacon to what, stop oppression, injustice. Jesus now, the light if, the you say, if you say, the listen, if you say, while you understand your role and responsibility, I don't care, then you're doing a disservice. So you should care and say, okay, she is a woman. Let's take that, she's a woman. So do you consider a 90-year-old man having intimate physical relationship with a 14-year-old woman moral? Do you consider it moral? No. Okay, so what God did in the Bible, which God approved of, is immoral. What, in the Reject the Bible, in, in the Bible, in the Bible, in the Bible, in the Bible, in the Christian belief. you're talking about is not the seal of the prophet like did Mohammed. god approve or disapprove hey muhammad is the seal of the prophet he's the example we should follow so but if you follow his example you get locked up who where in this dna beautiful if you marry if you're f f 54 years old marry a young child with six okay and have sex when, so if you marry if a man marry nine. okay if a man marries a man do you get locked up The world we live is corrupt. <laughs> Look at the world that we're living in. You're giving me an example of how you'd be locked up in a system in which man marries a man and you're going to get locked up? No, no you're not going to get locked up. You're not going to get locked up. Right. Yeah. So, so, you're not going to locked up. So, let's come back again. Look, no, I wanted I'm to leave that conversation a long time ago. Muhammad, bro, because 
That's the do you disagree with him? Removing the sun from the road. Uh, do you disagree? condemn is example. We can't follow. We can't follow his example now. Okay. What age should one marry? You know what I'm you can't follow example. Okay, let's test it. Let's test it. What age according to the Bible? Not according to UK law. Because UK law does, does, doesn't put two men marrying each other in, in prison. So, don't bring UK law here. According to the Christian law in the Bible, if it has any, what age should man, sorry, what age should a male, human male, marry a human female? Go ahead. Then we will see whether marrying by a 50-year-old to a 9-year-old is moral or immoral. So tell me now, according to the standards set by your God in the biblical scripture, what age should a human male marry a human female? No, no one their child. <laughs> what age? Give me the age. I, no, Shall I say case dismissed? Look it up, look it up. Not sure exactly what age is. No, I don't want to give you any age. Is there an age? Is there an age? Let me help you out. Is there an age? Sorry, let my brother help you out. Is there an age? I'm not sure. There isn't. Since, since the absence of any age, is it possible that people can say, actually, a two-year-old can marry a 90-year-old because there is no, nowhere does God approve or condemn these marriages because the age is not specified. You are now in a bigger problem, my friend. A one-year-old, a one-day-old baby can be married by a 90-year-old. How are you going to say it's wrong, immoral? Because the Bible doesn't say anything about it. doesn't condemn it. You see, we're talking about the seal of the prophet, mate, which is Muhammad. That's is the Bible is, in, is now on trial? That's what the we're Bible about. is on trial. We, you know, Defend we, it. We cannot follow its example. Defend it. You know what I'm saying? We cannot follow... The Bible is on trial, my friend. Don't you get it? The prophet, bro. How? We can't follow him. The re we look, we can't follow remember him. what I said? You are very intelligent. You know what I'm saying? And, and, but, and you have common sense. And, you see, Jesus Christ is a different kid of okay, faith. Look. He never sinned. Okay. What's the seal of You know what I'm saying? He can never, I? He, he never sinned. Can I say something? Yeah. And so you, and even the Quran speak highly of Jesus' okay. mother, Maryam. Sure. She's above all women. How come it does not speak about Muhammad's mother when he's the seal of the oh. prophet? Beautiful question. But let's Sorry, return bro. to the question that we're discussing first. <laughs> right. We are discussing about, <laughs> does the Bible, hey, hey, wait, wait. I'm speaking now, does the Bible condemn marriage between a 90-year-old and one-day-old Christian baby? The Bible doesn't anywhere. So you are in a problem. How do we then say, in fact, let's leave the Bible aside because the Bible doesn't help you here. Okay. So now we want to know how do we judge something moral or immoral? For example, let me make it simple for you because you're an intelligent person. You'll get it like that. If I said, look, this tripod is five centimeter short. What it means is I have a standard that I'm measuring against. And it is about a standard in length. It may be 25 centimeters and this is 20. So to say something is short or long, tall, to so say something is moral, immoral, you now realize we need a standard against which we judge and say, this is immoral based on that standard. Do you agree? Of course you do because you're an intelligent person. What is the standard according to God in terms of the age of marriage? Do you have any? Because based on that standard, we will say that is immoral or that is moral. For example, if God gives you a standard, marry between man and woman, and then when you have man and man marrying together by the church and Pope approves of it, you will say, is still immoral because God said so according to his own standard. Do you, do you follow? So what is the standard God has given you when a human male should marry a human female? Do you have a standard? Okay. No. Okay. no, thank you. In the absence of a standard from your part, my intelligent friend, you cannot judge anything as moral or immoral. 
okay? It's been nice and pleasure speaking to you. May God guide you closer and closer to the truth. You already believe in him, but you have a slightly misconception of him. This, we, 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 we don't somehow make you and, and disrespect you for that. What we are saying is you have a heart that needs a little bit of working to do. The mind, little of working to do. And God willing, he will guide you to the true path. You only need to approach him. God says, our prophet says, I'm said, I'm going to finish with this. Whoever goes to God with like one span, God comes to him like a hand span. If you go to him with one hand span, he comes to you like two hand span. If you go to him, if you approach him walking, he comes to you running. That is how God wants people to approach him, but he takes even more step of giving you that guidance. If you really are sincere and you want the truth, and you approach him, you will get the truth from God. Thank you very much for can I just say, being uh, can I just say, a, a nice gentleman and, can I just say, and, and pleasure speaking to you. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth and the life. Yeah. No man can come to the Father but through him. I agree him, at this man. time. No. Thank you. <laughs>